welcome back to show blocks and today we're going to be doing a diy of how to use an insulation kit for your window all right this is the insulation kit actually from dollar tree dollar tree all right guys this is only a dollar compared to a lot of um uh, uh retailers out there home depot and other companies amazon you can order it online it's like ten dollars fifteen dollars uh thirteen seventeen dollars this Diff, tons of different prices, but I guarantee nobody will beat this price. And when you see the end results, you cannot believe how good it looks. I was surprised myself after I did one window and I actually went out and bought more. I bought like seven more. So um, I'm gonna show you how it is. And this is from Dollar Tree, guys. Dollar Tree. So today we're gonna be using the kit, the insulation kit, and our just a few of our. Um, other um, tools that we're going to be using a pair of scissors, tape and a blade okay, now the reason why I have tape is because what I'm going to do after I cut the outsides of the access of the plastic I'm going to um, tape some of the edges because when you start to seal it I recommend leaving it in the window and kind of just keep rubbing on the, the tape because the tape that comes with the kit right the tape that comes with the kit is actually a double-sided tape so and it's a little tricky to get out but once you once you get the other side out it, it sticks fine but I recommend just kind of rubbing it um, down a few times and then you know making sure it's secure and it's um, it's really it's really stable and it sticks 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 well um, so just rub on it a few times all around the edges leave it there for a little bit and then put the um, tape on the outside to where you may think that um, you know it's kind of pulling because when you all right so what this kit does right let me rewind what this kit does so what you're gonna what you're gonna do with the kit is you're gonna put the double-sided tape right just a quick brief uh, breakdown of what's gonna happen uh, double-sided tape and then once you put the double-sided tape, right, little by little, you put the plastic. And the plastic is a fairly big sheet. It's actually, um, I'll tell you the size right now. It's about 60 by 72 inches. Okay? So it's fairly big. It's fairly big. And then once you do that, you put the plastic, it's going to be kind of um, loose, right? You're going to get a hair blow dryer. The hair blow dryer is actually going to shrink. You're pretty much going to shrink wrap your window. Now, you're not going to shrink wrap it to where it tightens all the way. You're going to shrink wrap it where it tightens a bit and you kind of see, you, you kind of, um, how you say, uh, uh, blow dry the areas that may, may be a little wrinkled. You don't want to do it too much because what will start to happen is it'll start to pull from the tapes. It'll start to pull from the tape. You don't want it to pull from the tape because then what's going to happen is if you just have the double-sided tape thinking that that's great and you did the window and little by little, it'll slowly pull and that tape might actually um, pull out and then you'll have an open um, corner or open section on the window. Now, winter, we all know, you know, it's, it's, it's cold, it's going to rain. So the windows will get a little moist. They might get a little, you know, um, not might, they will get cold and then they're definitely going to get moist, you know, like condensation and stuff like that from the humidity, rain and all kinds of stuff. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you, you do it fairly, fairly decent, but not enough to where you keep blow drying it because it's just going to keep pulling. Right? It's gonna pull because the heat pulls from the from the outside. So as you go throughout the whole window and you make it nice and neat and tight, it's it's gonna start to pull. So just do it fairly decent, um, not too much, and, and you, you're gonna be you're gonna be really really very very and really surprised of uh, the outcome once you're done with the window, especially from Dollar Tree. I was surprised when I did my first one. That's why I actually said, you know what, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a video and post it on there you guys ought to see um, because you know I you know my my channel is actually everything I try to do everything and anything um, I don't just focus on on, on one uh, specific niche or anything like that 
I, I, I like to do everything, you know. I, I'll play some games. I'll do some DIYs. I'll do uh, whatever the case may be. I'll do a review. I'll do the open box. I'll do a game. I'll do a whatever. Whatever the case may be. I want it to be show because I'm showing you guys. That's what my whole show is about, show vlogs. Um, I would like to get more in-depth in it, but nah, I really haven't had time. But Enough with the small talk. Let's get to it. So... So this is the tape here, if you look at it, right? And you peel it, and there you go. It's actually double-sided, and it's fairly decent. It's a decent amount, so. And this is the plastic. And the plastic, you're gonna notice, it's really big, all right? It's really big, this is the plastic. Uh. scissors and we have our tape right first things first is we're gonna start doing the double tape double-sided tape right and actually wipe this down I would recommend wiping the window down a bit just in case if it's um, a little dirty and there might be some dust um, you don't want it to be too um, you know dusty or anything like that because then what's gonna happen is the tape isn't gonna stick so you want it to stick and if you look at my window here you can see on the sides here, this is actually cracked open. Oh, and before we start, I wanna take this off because I made the mistake last time and I didn't actually take this off. So you wanna take this out first because I'm gonna show you um, something how to uh, actually seal that and put that back in once we're done, all right? So my window here on the edges, you can see are, are, are coming away from the window frame. See that? So if I hold the the, the shades and push this wall, the side wall, you can see it, it's, it's open. So all this air along the, and that's probably about, I would say about a half an inch, half an inch on both sides. Even on this side, they actually did a poor job um, trying to tape this, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make this better. I'm gonna make sure that this is in there, secure, nice, and no cold air will get in. Right, so I might come out, this is about a half an inch, I would say, half an inch on, on, all, on all around the window. So I might come out to about here, to where I have a good, um, decent framing, so I can seal it. And then after that, if you have a nice, um, um, thick type curtain, or a, 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 a blackout curtain, a thick curtain, or window, you know, um, fairly thick. So that way, if air does get in, it stays insulated within the, the window or within. Thank you. 
sealing that, making sure it's stuck in there fairly well, all right? And we have a decent amount left, so you can actually reuse this. You know, you can reuse this for another window or anything like that, or any other projects you may have. Or if you want to just stick like a poster on the wall or something like that, double sight it. So there you go. Okay. You have a whole bunch left. And here we go. We're going to do it. It's fairly easy, but that's my bloopers, my mistake. Here we go. So I did that, put it back on actually. We're going to put the top on right now, right? See? When you do it, pull it from the center out. So stick the center and go out. Um, because I kind of got like a little um, crinkle spot here that's kind of um, bunched up. But it's fine, once you start to shrink wrap it, I could get it out. And if there's anything excess, again, we have the tape, you can put the tape over. So, I mean, it's, it may not come out perfect, but I guarantee it'll come out a lot better than what you're gonna expect um, compared to um, $17. Now, wouldn't you want to mess up a, a $1, $2 plastic um, insulating the window? Or would you want to mess up a $17, $15, $18 uh, um, insulation kit that you purchased, right? So, and if you think that, um, if, if you rather if you rather mess up an $18, $20 insulation kit, please comment, comment down below and tell me, tell me why. Because this is actually doing the same thing. I'll show you how easy this is. Grab a blade, cut this right out, and look how this is just coming right out. Okay. See how easy this is coming right out? Look at this. Look at this. Watch. Ready? One, two, three. Right 
go. We got one side and that's access. Okay, access. That's a lot of leftover plastic. Now we're gonna go along the top. Okay, now you don't wanna go too far out. You wanna leave some plastic, just in case you need uh, to tape or you need to do um, extra ceiling or whatever the case may be. So you wanna go probably, I would say about an inch or so off of the plastic. You know, I would say probably a half an inch. If so, you don't want to go too much, okay? Now I'm doing this side. Okay. Actually, a little too much, but... sticking on the side, you can put some tape on the corners so that way you get an extra seal, right? right? So now we're done. If we look at the window, right? Got, got a good seal. Make sure you seal that, right? This little piece right here, I might have to put um, tape because once we um, once we start to shrink wrap, it might pull and that might leave a little air pocket because again, it's 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 not um, sticking on the glue. But if I tape it, it'll be like this, right? It'll be fairly well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So that way, once I I shrink wrap it, it won't. Um, it won't pull or tear, right? So that's it, I'm done guys, I'm done. I'm just kind of going over, uh, making sure everything is uh, sealed. There's no uh, torn pieces or anything like that, right? So you can grab a piece of tape, put it in there like this, like so. Should we just tape that down, right? Take that down because now when we go to shrink wrap, this is gonna, I mean, it's gonna leave like a little thing here, but that's fine. That's fine, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried if it was to tear or anything like that. And if you don't feel 100% sure that it's, you don't feel 100% sure that it's um not sticking fairly well, you can put tape, you can put tape. Go right ahead and put tape, all right? You can put tape, guys. You can put tape right on it and, uh, you know, secure it. So that way, so that way, when you go to use the 
blow dryer, you know for sure that's not going in there and it has a good seal, right? I'm actually gonna put tape because I want this to really have a good solid seal, okay? Successful? Was it total failure? What, um, did it work? How long did it last? Was it good? Did it keep the cold out? You know, tell me what you think. I've, I've, I've actually researched online and I've seen so many, uh, so many comments and reviews on different types that people have done. I mean, they've done bubble wraps on inside of the window and all kinds of craziness and stuff like that. Um, I think this is fairly easy, fairly simple and really, really affordable. That's the key thing right now, affordable, right? Uh, you could buy 15 and only spend like $18 and have 15 of them so you can seal all your windows in your whole house. Um, whatever the case may be, whatever you wanna do with it. You can even break it off, cut pieces and reseal toys or reseal games that you have or DVDs or, or Blu-ray discs that maybe you wanna keep for the future and you wanna save. Maybe to show your kids, your families, your cousin or you wanna send as a gift. You can reseal it. You can actually buy these plastics and reseal stuff. Okay, you can re reseal stuff. So that's kind of cool too. So here we go. Then we're gonna put the tape now on the top. I'm gonna cut actually two pieces. Um, so that way I can have the pieces already up there. I don't wanna have to come down. Okay. So first things first, I'm gonna do this corner, right? This corner, this corner actually looks very, very well. Very good, it looks very good. It's, it's still pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reseal it, make sure it has that extra, extra taping, right? starts to drop and it gets really cold I'm gonna definitely comment and let you guys know if it's really working or not the top actually looks very good I'm not even gonna touch the top the top looks very good the side looks a little eh, crunchy on some sides but, but it's still good the top is very good it's um, straight very tight has a good seal on the sides you know what, let's use the blow dryer and then if there's any excess or anything like that, then I'll definitely um, put some tape. Be right back. All right, I'm back and I have the blow dryer. Woo! All right, so now let's just plug this bad boy in. Oh my, 
electricity doesn't turn off because sometimes when you plug in too many things, there's seems to be a little power outage. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Blow drying my hair. Alright, and you want to make sure it's hot, right? So give it a little bit so that way it gets hot. Alright? What you want to do is you want to start from the top. So we start from the top. Start blow drying a little. And as you can see, it's already pulling. It's already pulling. Tightening up. Which I like. I like it. I like it. Awesome. That's awesome. Right? So as you can see. Now all you gotta do is just kind of go from one area down. Alright? You want to leave it on for a little bit. Don't leave it on too long because then it'll pull and it'll stretch it too much. And you want to kind of like glide over it on a hot spot, right? Glide over it. Glide over it on a hot spot, right? So we're going to get to the bottom. I want to see how it looks on the bottom. So, woo, that one tightened up real quick. And I left it there for a little bit. Okay, so it's pulling, now it's pulling. And again, you don't want to do it too much because if you do too much, it'll pull out from the sticker on the side. That's why it's always good to put a little extra tape. So that way you kind of secure the plastic and go over a little. Make sure that there's a little plastic left. Here we go. All right. fairly fine. Um, I might put another little piece real quick. Um, the reason being is I'm going to put it over the side so that way it doesn't continue to pull. Right? Well, hopefully it doesn't continue to pull. Okay, 
I've got small little parts here that's pulling, but that's fine. It's secure to tape. That'll hold. That'll hold. That'll definitely hold. Let me grab another piece. I'm gonna put another piece on the bottom. I'm gonna show you this real quick. See this? If you look along the sides, how it's sealed. See how it's sealed? It's sealed in. And it's holding very, very well, actually. Now, if you look at the bottom, see this part right here that I was mentioning before? It's starting to pull because it had like a little wrinkle. But once you um, shrink wrap it, all those wrinkles will go away, but it, it'll, it'll pull, it'll start to pull. You got a little pull here. You got a little piece here also. But what I did, I, I, I secured it a little extra with tape, right? So I put tape along the edge here to hopefully um, secure some more. Uh, what else? This side looks fairly well. Um, this is just the plastic. See how much that I went over just to leave a little excess. You wanna do that because if you're gonna put, if you're gonna cut it down to the glue, and let's say for instance, if it comes up or right, right raises, um sometime down the down the line you would say maybe january february or who knows how long this will hold if it does start to pull you're gonna have a really hard time trying to tape put tape on that so since i have some clay i have some excess plastic here i can actually put tape over this and kind of over secure this right because you got the glue from the inside on both sides not only that i got the tape on on top of it securing it and other than that, I got some some wrinkles up here. Not wrinkles, but from the plastic. Um, and that's pretty much it. See, I have that, the, that top, that part. That looks actually really good. This is actually really good. You can't even see that it has a plastic. But if I hit it, you can hear it. You see that? <laughs> 